Well, I hope you guys have this in front of you. If not, you're just going to need to have a piece of scratch paper. You can maybe do this work on your own or um, with your calculator, all right? So this is about coordinate grid lengths. And so we have a coordinate grid because we have an x-axis and a y-axis. And all the grid behind it allows me to plot order pairs, those x-y pairs, right? So we're supposed to find and label the exact length of each right triangle's hypotenuse, OK? So we're going to do a couple of these together. And then I'm going to let you do the rest on your own. And we'll come back and check how you did on it, all right? Now, if we start here. I'm going to just label that this is A and this is B, because they make the right angle here. And so this is our hypotenuse, all right? Now I can count that this has a length of 2, and this has a length of 3. And so for me to figure out well, what is the hypotenuse, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, right? Let's see if I can squeeze it up here. That 2 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. And 4 plus 9 would equal c squared. 13 would equal c squared. And so c would be the square root of 13. Now we spent some time approximating, well, what is that? We know it's somewhere between 3 squared and 4 squared, or 9 and 16, right? But if I want to approximate it, we spent time doing that, yes, but if I want to leave it exact, then I'm going to just leave it as the square root of 13. That can be used as a um, display of measurement, OK? So c is the square root of 13 long. Okay. How about if we jump over here? This is a length of 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so a squared is 2. 2 squared plus b is 9. 9 squared equals c squared. 4 plus 81 equals c squared, 85 equals c squared. So c is the square root of 85, exactly. Now, uh, what I want you to do for me when you do the rest of these is to be thinking about your thinking. That's called metacognition. Think about your strategy, all right? Pay real close attention to what you're doing. Um, because our goal is to try not to count those squares. So, you know, I wasn't looking at these coordinates. I was just literally counting those distances with my pen, right? I want you to think about how can we avoid that? Because as you can see from the other side, we're not going to have the grid anymore, are we? So nice and easy to count it here. But what if the grid was gone? How would we count that length? So the key is looking at these ordered pairs. So be thinking about that as you go through and practice these, and then we'll come back and do the other side together.